Hi, I'm CJ Allenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We've got a really cool new Cimarron living quarters sitting behind me that, that we're gonna walk you through. This is a four horse, it's a 2023, again, Cimarron North Star. But what we'll do is before we really walk into this trailer, I'm gonna show you all the different cool options we did on this one. Let's go ahead and take a look at the layout of the trailer. That way we can kind of show you a couple specs and see, show you just how the trailer is actually laid out itself. So what we're looking at here is we're looking at 36.3 on the floor. This is a 510 short wall. This trailer is eight foot wide. It is 710 tall. We're going a little bit taller. I mean, you're seeing a lot of seven sixes out there, but we feel like when you get in these living quarters, you're gonna want that extra height on them. This is a full width rear tack trailer, triple axle, uh, hay pod on the trailer. But again, we'll walk you through that part of it. On the living quarter side, we're a 1510 Outlaw with a slide out. This is a really cool layout, really cool setup, and it's become very, very popular for us. Um, really sought after by a lot of customers out there. So we're gonna walk you through this trailer. Again, it's got a lot, so just bear with us. We hope we don't miss anything. Um, <clears throat> but let's take a look at this first and foremost. Underneath the gooseneck, you're gonna notice this enclosed front end. This is a really nice trailer. We really like these enclosures on these. I think it just dresses these trailers up. The other thing that you get with this roll-up door is it protects everything behind here. Now, granted, we do have a box for our actual propane bottles. We do 30 pound bottles. We really tried to do that on about every single inventory trailer. Uh, and then when we're working with a customer on a build, we say, hey, this is definitely worth upgrading to 30 pound bottles. That way you're not having to, you know, change bottles as frequently when you're using these trailers it makes a big difference compared to the 20s when you go to the 30s. But again, you got this, this box here that's gonna protect those. Above that is actually gonna be for our, our uh, batteries. So we have two house batteries and an air ride battery on this one. We're gonna talk a lot more about air ride as we go through this entire trailer. But I want you to notice the detail that, that Outlaw does. I mean, granted, yes, we, we label these as a house battery. One, two, air ride battery. But if you look at the wiring back there, you know, they're gonna label everything so we know what everything goes to. So if you get into a situation where we need to, some service done on this, you know, maybe you're not here, maybe you're not close to Outlaw, they can get you to a service center and typically they can walk them through by saying, hey, just go look underneath here. Again, with everything being labeled, it just helps from a timing standpoint of getting things just taken care of and addressed. With this one being a slide out in a bigger trailer, we do the dual hydraulic, electric over hydraulic uh, jacks by Equalizer. This is a, a manual override. We really like this and we're really glad that Cimarron does this type of an option because if you get into an emergency situation or you have to get this thing hand cranked off a truck or onto one, you, you have that capability. Over here to the right, there is the onboard compressor for the air ride system on this trailer. So it's all self-contained. We don't have to have an air source from the actual truck itself. Very simple to use. On off, raise lower, and then there's a cable at the bottom to clear the lines from, from a condensation standpoint. We've done some walkthrough how-to videos on how to operate it, and then also how to shut it down properly. So we do have those uh, in kind of a, a shorter clip type video as well that we can send to you. I'll talk more about that when we get to the axles themselves. But this enclosure, again, it just protects everything, keeping everything nice and clean underneath here. I think it's just a cleaner look to this trailer when it's all said and done. A um, Couple other things underneath the gooseneck here. You're gonna notice this tube underneath. That's actually gonna house our uh, uh, hose to actually go ahead for our dump tanks. So it's kind of nice it's right there. I tell everybody it's kind of nice to have some different kind of just throwaway gloves whether they're just um, you know uh, i actually like a, a ai gloves they're a lot longer that way you can kind of keep that box right in here in this enclosure grab your hose dump your tanks throw it back in there and just throw those away but you've got the ability to store those underneath here but this is a great i mean it keeps it secure it has a home 
that's the nice thing was is finding places for everything to kind of stay um, when you're actually using these trailers themselves and then underneath we put a, a 16 inch awning light that shoots down our cab lights usually blocked by the front of the trailer itself so by having a light underneath here shooting into this area giving you some light coverage it is really nice from that standpoint there if you look at the neck there you're going to notice that is a frameless window that is now standard on everything from a 22 model or newer on their on their lqs uh, it's just a clean sleek look in my opinion um, you're going to notice that we can go back to the old traditional style windows that you'll have that rubber around it but we're going to have to actually upgrade into that because now this is the standard option but again we like those again because it gives a good look to the trailer itself now when we get into this living quarters we're going to talk a lot about outlaw and what they do but this is one thing that we like to go ahead and upgrade to <clears throat> at Cimarron we can do a 29 inch standard heavy duty door there's a camper style which is a lighter weight door it's rounded at the top that's the dead giveaway on a on a prefab door itself but this one here is an upgrade into the challenger door this is a big heavy duty door you get this massive rotary latch on the door um, you get the piano style hinges on it but as you can see it's got a massive screen door as well it's got this expanded metal on the inside so if you're traveling with maybe smaller dogs smaller kids or hey you just kind of happen to accidentally kick it we're not going to kick through that screen door that expanded metal is going to protect it um, but it latches right onto that that is a nice upgrade in in our opinion and again we really uh, walk through the cut you know walk through possible trailers here on the lot with customers saying hey here's this style here's this style um, the one kind of knock on this is we can't do the extrusion act on the actual door itself if we go with a uh, Cimarron built 29 inch heavy duty door we can do the extrusion to kind of match the trailer if you wanted to go that route um, but other than that 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 is a extremely high quality door right there that you're going to get you got your step going into the LQ just making it nice and easy <clears throat> But then as we get into this LQ, so again, this is a 1510 short wall with a slide out. <coughs> what we really wanted to do over the last couple of years is put a lot of emphasis. I mean, a lot of people are either traveling with, with family, going to junior high rodeos, high school rodeos. They need multiple seating, multiple sleeping areas. And this does that um, without making this trailer massive. Um, over here in the slide out, we put the dinette. We kind of like to put the dinette actually in the slide itself because then we can get the full dinette. You know, that's a four person dinette there. If we go ahead and move that over to the drop wall, it actually has to be smaller. So then it's more of a two person dinette. And then honestly, it's really about a one person sleeping area. But in this instance here, this guy will break down into a bed. <coughs> it can sleep two people. And then over here on the drop wall, You've got your sofa that'll that'll break down into a bed. It's a jackknife style as well, um, but this guy will fold down. It clears the slide the way it is, and actually it houses at the back underneath it is the fresh water tank. So um, this has become the go-to uh, layout as far as what we've seen over the last couple of years. We do this in a couple different configurations and a couple different sizes, um, but this right here has become extremely popular itself. And then as we start looking around at the actual trailer itself and the construction of it, I mean, you have the hardwood cabinetry that Outlaw does. Um, I mean, it's second to none out there in the industry. They do a phenomenal job. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about warranty here in a little bit on this when you combine a Cimarron and an Outlaw. <coughs> but if you look, we've got some overhead cabinetry above the actual sofa area. Going up into the, the gooseneck area as well, we went ahead and and did a pocket door there you've got some storage up in the nose itself you've got a secondary switch up there for the generator and then you're actually going to have a 32 inch smart tv we're going with smart tvs on everything this is a wi-fi capable trailer um, a lot of customers are actually starting to uh, add like starlink to trailers and motorhomes as well we're noticing uh, Maybe you're working out of this trailer, having the ability to stream. I mean, everything's going that way. Believe me, 
Disney Plus is constantly running at our house, it seems like, with the little kids. But the, the ability to stream, and that's the way it's going. Uh, this TV right here as well behind me, it's a 32-inch smart TV as well. Uh, we're doing that on all of our trailers now, um, just because we understand what everyone's trying to do and possibly work on the road. And just having that Wi-Fi and everything capable right there from your hands or on your computer. Below that TV is a 7.0 refrigerator freezer, which is fantastic because then you've got your actual refrigerator and freezer. You've got a large fridge, large freezer there. Um, you know, you don't have that dorm style, as I like to call them, that really small option. Um, you've got, again, we understand you're going to be on the road. Being able to carry a lot is really nice. And with that 7.0, it's a nice feature there. You're also going to get a convection oven, <coughs> not just a, a, a microwave itself. It's going to be the con convection microwave option there. Directly below that is going to be, we've got the recessed cover on it, but a two burner cooktop. We do a cover over the actual sink as well. Just giving you a lot more counter space. And then the last piece is actually a fold up extension on that. Uh, countertop as well so you can flip that up prepare a little bit more food have that counter space that's always been a little bit of a challenge as far as that's concerned but then as we get into the bathroom itself this is a really good sized bathroom you have the ability to move around in here now we opted to not do the walkthrough door we wanted more counter space and then also the ability to have our walk-in closet so you've got dual rods in there there's actually some shelves on that back corner, so you can maybe just put some little miscellaneous items up there. Uh, again, you can never have enough stuff, and we kind of felt like that's kind of some wasted space, so let's at least put something there. Not only that, you're going to have some storage actually behind the toilet itself. These are adjustable as well, so we can move these where we want them, put them in place. Um, having that flexibility is definitely nice as far as that's concerned. And then if you look at the bathroom vanity itself, you know, ton of counter space there. Again, a lot of emphasis on that. Um, dual vanity doors with the mirrors. Um, we like the duals. The very first one we did kind of in a similar size had one. You had to basically kind of duck out of the way. Um, in order to open that. So we always try to build the next trailer better than the previous. We did the tile, so we had tile behind the kitchen area, tile behind this as well. Then we have our radius shower with a skylight as well. A little bit taller, get you some natural light. Um, you've got that. This is a really nice shower with this radius, this neo angle here. Um, you know, you've, you've got the uh, ability to have a little bit more elbow room in it itself. And then you've got the pocket door for privacy. Stores out of the way. You're not having a door itself that you have to kind of duck around. There's a mirror on this back side of it. We went with this Chevron style floor. This is my opinion. I love this floor. This is a really cool option, I think. I think it just kind of dresses this trailer up. A little bit different than than some other things out there um, but like to incorporate that you have uh, air conditioner right above me <clears throat> everything's ducted as well by having that duct work it really helps just kind of maintain and kind of get more of a consistent just temperature as far as in this entire living quarters area you can actually shut down sections so if if at night, hey, I don't need to be running air conditioner in the bathroom, I want to force more here in this living area or up into the nose, I can kind of shut those down and force it that way. Um, but you've got the ability to really um, just, again, maintain a, a really nice temperature setting within this actual trailer itself. As far as some controls go, we actually have our slide out controls right here. We've got our awning controls as well. Here's a, another start button for our onboard generator so again there's one up in the nose there's one right here <coughs> so if you wake up in the morning you want to fire up the gin from in bed without even getting out of bed you can but here's another one right here that you can turn that on and off the other thing about our electric awning is there's actually some led lights underneath there So you've got some light coverage outside, you've got 
a porch light, but with having those LED lights, great entertainment area out here. You've got your courtesy lights on the, on the bottom rail as well, um, exterior speakers. So again, we've got a lot going on right here, <coughs> but it's, it's a, again, a really good place to entertain. Good size awning as well. Um, with it being a 1510 short wall, you have a four foot offset. We didn't go quite to the horse area, but that is a big awning and a great place to just sit out here and, and enjoy the trailer itself. You see that ex extrusion, we actually extended that all the way up to the, the neck area there. Um, again, on that LQ door, you'd have to go with a Cimarron heavy duty built door at the factory in order to put the extrusion on that it itself. But again, we wanted that Challenger door. We're a big fan of that door. Those are items you can open and close every time you, you, know, you use this trailer itself. So we want them to hold up there as far as that's concerned. So we talked a little bit just briefly about warranty. On the Cimarron side, you have an eight year structure warranty, three year hardware warranty. And then when you combine it with an outlaw conversion, a true outlaw, you get three years as well five years of, of craftsmanship, but when you get a Cimarron, it is the only manufacturer and living quarters conversion out there that they cover everything for three years. So with that being said, I mean, if, if the refrigerator, the microwave has a one year manufacturer warranty, they put it on, they cover it for three. Um, there's some manufacturers out there that will offer a three year warranty as far as the conversion goes, but it's more of their craftsmanship. They do a one year on their appliances, those type of items there. So when you're stepping into a Cimarron with an outlaw, you're really covered. It's a really high quality trailer itself. Now let's kind of get back to the business end of this trailer back at the horse area. <coughs> Triple axle <coughs> air ride. So the most common response we get from a customer is that has owned an air ride trailer i'll never pull another trailer without it that's how much they believe in it older systems there was a knock on them if something happened to the compressor an airline a bag that trailer would sit down on the axles and you couldn't move it this system here is a rubber torsion axle with a shock kit if something happens the way the trailer is sitting currently right now is actually on those rubber torsion axles I can hook onto this and go where I need to. Maybe I need to get that compressor fixed. Maybe a, a, a leveling valve, maybe a bag, maybe a line, something along those lines. Some things will happen, but knock on wood, this has been a very, very good system itself. Um, not really having, you know, people run into issues, but the most important thing is the ride for the horses. It makes a massive difference on the amount of uh, just wear and tear and just the, the, the road just jolts from bumps, those type of items, potholes on horses' joints. Um, believe me, it will help from the standpoint of just recovery time on long hauls. We hear a lot of customers say if they're going to a show, I can actually peel a day off of lead time getting to the show, letting my horses recover. Well, that's another day away from home. That's another, you know, just day of maybe labor you've got with you. Um, Again, we're allowing these horses to compete at the highest level. Let's not even mention what it could possibly do for vet bills as well. I mean, if we're not having the wear and tear on the horses, uh, because of that air ride, it makes a massive difference there. With this being a triple axle, this trailer is going to pull phenomenally well. You throw air ride on it, my goodness, your horses aren't going to ride on anything better out there. Electric over hydraulic brakes, so a lot of stopping power, three axles worth of stopping power. 18 ply continental tires. We went with an SRW, it's a mod wheel on this one. It looks similar to an Alcoa without the Alcoa cost, but then it is not that Durabrite, um, you know, Alcoa as far as that's concerned, but a really good looking wheel itself. Now, we're gonna talk more about this air ride when we get over to the other side of it. And, and one of the knocks we hear is, you know, yes, a triple axle pulls phenomenally well, but it's hard to turn. Stay tuned, we're gonna talk about what we've done to kind of combat that uh, here at Trans West. <coughs> You're gonna look at the hip wall here. We've got drops on the tail side. We wanted a lot of airflow, So we put drops on tail side. You know, this is a rear side load. So we have our side ramp going in. Here's our door. There is a drop window in this door as well. So you have drops on all four. Now, one of the challenges with this type of a setup or this type of a load, is getting into this area right here. As you can see, it's a little bit tight for some of our bigger horses to kind of come in and make this turn. Well, 
<coughs> Cimarron has gone in and done a breakover divider, which allows that divider to break in half. We get the other dividers against it. Now look at that area for your horses to actually load and unload, especially unload. You know, as they're coming in, it's a little bit easier for them to turn their shoulders and then get, get turned into the trailer itself, backing off. They can kind of get their hip, get that left shoulder kind of stepped over and get a little bit more of a straight shot down there. This first stall right here is 48 inches wide. So a little bit wider uh, stall itself. But again, what we wanted to do is have the ability for animals, you know, our horses to get on and off a little bit easier. Now, one thing that we also do is, <coughs> is there's a little bit of a challenge when you're pulling rubber mats out of this type of a load as well. We don't have just a straight shot out of the trailer. Um, with this one here, we went ahead and deleted the rubber mats and we went with worm flooring. We like to do worm flooring on these trailers. It's permanent, it's unpenetrable. This one here, we did a black with a, with a brown and kind of tan uh, mixture itself. Uh, black is standard, an extra dollar per square foot. You can do a different color. We've seen purple, we've seen blue. Uh, we've seen different mixtures. I think we did a pink with glitter for a customer. So there's, you can go crazy on these, but um, it is really nice because now we don't have to pull mats. You know, it, it gives a little bit more cushion for the horses themselves. I think it insulates the floor a little bit more as well. Um, we really notice that when we get into our livestock trailers, especially our hog trailers, you know, they really like that from that standpoint. But now we don't have to wrestle mats. We can just muck out the solids, power wash it out and done. This floor will look like it does today, 20 years from now um, on the underside of it because that does protect it itself there. <clears throat> Looking at the dividers, we did airflow dividers. Again, a lot of emphasis on airflow, keeping animals comfortable. So we have airflow jail bar style dividers, same on the actual head grills as well over the mangers, uh, drops on the head side. So again, you get this, I mean, I can feel the cross breeze coming through this trailer right now and I can definitely tell it's a lot cooler because of that actual airflow itself you're actually going to have an insulated roof on this trailer as well. That is standard on every single Cimarron. <laughs> doesn't matter the model, doesn't matter the size of the trailer, they're all going to get that roof right there. So it's, it's really heavy duty, it's really strong, it's a half inch thick. It's a honeycomb design, it'll take 150 pounds per square foot. So really, really durable, it'll take substantial hail. More importantly is it keeps the stall area about 20% cooler. It has an R3 thermal value. Uh, believe me, it makes a big difference. When we go work shows in the summertime, we're usually out on asphalt, it's hot. You know, a lot of times we'll actually move into the trailers themselves because it'll be a lot cooler because of that roof. You come to the lot on those hot days, we'll take you to one trailer with an aluminum sheeted roof that's all sealed up. Believe me, it's hot, you feel it. You moved over to a Cimarron, you will physically feel a difference because of that insulated roof there. Then you cap it off with four roof vents, two-way roof vents so we can manipulate airflow. Again, we just, we just combined a lot. Drops on head side, drops on, on hip side, airflow dividers, insulated roof. Now with the uh, roof vents, again, Keeping animals nice and comfortable and cool is, is really important, especially in those summer months. You've got four LED lights in here. Those are the OptiBright. We like to upgrade to those. Word on the street is those might be coming standard now, um, but that's just how we've been ordering all of our inventory <coughs> over the last couple years. We like that bigger, clearer lens. Believe me, you're never gonna be disappointed and, and wish we didn't have as much light coverage on these trailers. You're always going to be doing something at night, uh, eventually at some point. <clears throat> Stud divider at number one. So we've got the extension all the way down. The recessed paddle latch. <coughs> it's a heavy UHMW plastic, so we don't have that metal to metal contact creating a lot of noise. This is aluminum powder coated piece. Everything has a radius. Everything is smooth. So when you touch these trailers, the jail bars, Nothing's real sharp, nothing's 90 degrees. Keeping animals safe first and foremost. Big springs on these dividers, wanting them to pull them over to the driver's side. As you can see, I'm not touching them. We're actually tipped towards passenger side. That's why they're off maybe a little bit. 
but we don't have to hold these dividers loading and unloading. Those springs will want to pull them towards that driver's side itself. We've got some 16 inch awning lights on here. So again, more light coverage, one above the door, kind of one above stall number one there, but where you'd actually be tying horses. We upgraded to a few more button lights on this trailer. These are big and long. Let's go ahead and put those on there. Just again, a lot of light coverage is, is never a bad thing. We have a hay pod directly above kind of the opening there. You can see it behind it. It's actually gonna house that onboard generator. So on that hay pod, that hay pod will hold about 10 to 12 bales of hay, depending on size. We have an Onan 4K gas generator located behind it. You've got a nice deck up there as well. Not a bolt-on ladder. <clears throat> we actually prefer and like these easy angle ladders that Cimarron's come up with. If you're hauling feed bags up there, maybe some buckets, maybe those type items thrown that pot as you're traveling, Believe me, it makes a massive difference. Instead of going straight up the side with a bolt-on ladder trying to carry those items, this makes life so much easier carrying them up and down. <clears throat> These can be added to trailers after the fact as well. So maybe you have a bolt-on, you'd prefer to do this. Doesn't just have to be a Cimarron. Our parts and, and service department can help you out, but we can add these to them or to your existing Cimarron itself. And this is a new feature that uh, Cimarron's come up with we used to have these just rubber bumpers that we just lock it into, but now they've added this actual pin right here that actually locks in. So when you're in transit, it will lock it to where it doesn't have the potential to bounce out. I mean, we always tell people is you got to step on them, push them down, lock them into those rubber bumpers, but that's an extra added feature right there. <clears throat> so here's a good look at this rear tack. Full width rear tack. We opted for a single door on this one. There are double door options as well, but we went with the single on this one. On the actual door itself, you're gonna have a brush tray, four tier saddle, uh, uh, blanket pull rack, excuse me, on there that swings out, it's on a gas shock. Carpet behind it, carpet behind all the walls to protect our all of our tack itself. We have a four tier swing out saddle rack. These are adjustable as well, so we can move them up and down. We still have space to walk into this tack room, even with the saddle rack swung out itself. Bridle hooks behind me. Again, carpet on the wall. Over in this corner, we're actually gonna, a couple things going on. We've got a fuel tank for the onboard generator. I'll show you where that fill is when we get to the outside. We've got a shelf above it to store some items. And then we've got a 48 gallon half moon water tank behind the saddle rack itself. So you can actually carry 48 gallons of water from home. If you have a horse that only prefers water from home, uh, but just as you're traveling, it's nice to be able to have that. You get into a situation where maybe you run into traffic, maybe you're parked a long ways um, from a hydrant when you get to an event, having that water there, we're not actually having to tap into your fresh water on the actual LQ itself. Now, on this short wall piece. You're gonna notice we got some stuff going on here. Up above, we've got just kind of some storage. Outlaw did this wood part of it, but it will house a small 12 volt refrigerator. So as you're traveling, your, work, your truck is working as a trickle charger to our, our 12 volt house batteries that will also feed to this as well. This is a great place to keep maybe some um, medicines on, on board that actually need to stay cold and we're not using them up space in our actual refrigerator in the actual living quarters itself. We wanted kind of a vet box to be you know on board with you. So we've got some pull out drawers that Cimarron did. Cimarron did this lower portion. So it's all aluminum, it's all real heavy duty. This is the same door latch that you're gonna have on like your drop windows, um, manger doors, all of those themselves. It's actually key to like as well. So you've got three drawers, one a little bit bigger on the lower one. Down below, you've got a cabinet down there. This will be really good. Again, maybe some vet supplies, some smaller items you don't want just kind of bouncing around the trailer. 
storing those in here. Again, you can lock them up, but then again, having that refrigerator back here is a nice little feature as well. You've got the step that goes across that opening, so it's an easier transition going in and out of there. Uh, this is a small option. Again, lights, can't ever have enough lights. This is one that we're doing on a lot of trailers. That's a backup light. It is a long ways away from our backup lights on our truck to the back of this trailer. We understand you will be backing into places in the dark, maybe unfamiliar places, maybe even just at home. But by having that, when you throw it in reverse with that light coming on, makes a big difference. I mean, it's, it's a small little feature, but believe me, we really like it. And we've gotten really good feedback from customers. So like I said, <clears throat> I showed you that fuel tank. There's our actual fill for that gas generator right there. So you can fuel your pickup up, pull up to the pump, put gas right there in it. Uh, again, it's all on this side of the trailer, so it's handy from that standpoint itself. There's our four drop windows on head side. The front one's gonna be a touch smaller, but that's because it's on that escape door itself. We have to have that framework. So really heavy duty drop windows. This is all framework. I mentioned on the LQ door, that's an item you're gonna open and close about every time you use this trailer. More than likely, those windows are too. So we want them heavy duty, we want them to hold up over time. Again, that's all framework. Go look at a lot of other manufacturers, and I challenge you, you'll see a lot of them with maybe a prefab, really lightweight, or not that even amount of framework itself. We wanted a big opening, Cimarron did a great job on getting a big opening, so we have a lot of airflow through this trailer. Jail bars really easy to use you just lift them up find that little cut in that rail it sets in and drops them down real sight real tight seal to them when we go ahead and shut them up there's a big thick piece of weather stripping but they do a great job on getting it when it actually shuts to have a nice solid seal you get into certain trailers like a front tack room on like a three or four horse gooseneck, something like that. And we shut that LQ door or that uh, tack door and you can almost hear the, the actual air getting sucked out of it. You hear it and that's because that's how tight of a seal we're getting. You actually, I actually put my finger on the frame itself when I'm going to open those because sometimes we'll have people come to the lot and say, oh, I'd like to look at those, but they're all locked up. It's just because we need a little pressure off of there. But we don't want moisture getting into these trailers. So that's why it's so important to have such a good seal and just framework and shut when they go to lock up these windows. We're not allowing that in there. One final piece to that is if you look above those drop windows there, there's an actual drip rail. So that is an extruded piece. They build an extrusion just for that piece of, of those frames. That allows moisture to get away from those windows, not trying to work back into those, those frames themselves. I mean, we'll have cold mornings here where moisture gets into them and we're gonna do a video, but it's frozen. <laughs> it gets in there and freezes. That's gonna help get that moisture away from it. You're also gonna have welded hinges with grease certs. So a lot easier to maintain. You can actually put grease to those themselves. There's a brass rod in there. So as you open and close those, it's feeding it throughout. A lot of the competition out there will have a welded hinge, but the only way to put any lubricant to them is kind of right in the middle. And sometimes you even have to heat them up because it's not feeding whatever lubricant you are putting to it throughout that entire hinge. Mangers, so great under storage, buckets, lawn chairs, actual feed itself. We carpet it, put hooks behind these three doors right here. You also have lights underneath there. Again, a lot of framework to it. Same latch we saw in the back tack. On those drawers, the welded hinges with three certs as well. We put a manger on this escape door as well. So a little bit smaller storage there. But then there's a good look at that manger when we go ahead and swing it out.
couple more 16 inch awning lights on the top rail on this side of the trailer as well. Now, we talked about triple axle air ride and one of the challenges is turning these trailers. Especially when you get into the summer months, asphalt really hot, tires are hot, they wanna grab, there's, there's not a lot of give there. So it puts a lot of stress on the sidewalls of our, our tires themselves, the hubs, the axles, when we go to crank these big triple axles around, they pull phenomenally well, but that's been one of the challenges. Get a lot of tire scrub. Some customers will come in with trailers without air ride or, or just a triple axle themselves, and I can look at the tires, and usually the front and back one have more wear than the middle one, um, and I can usually tell they haven't rotated them just based on that wear itself. But <clears throat> one thing that we do exclusively here at TransWest is we put an air dump on this system itself. What we're doing is we're putting the air dump on the front axle, and what that does is now this trailer will turn more like a tandem and it's all remote controlled. So when we take the, the weight off this front axle, it actually is gonna put a little bit more weight to the truck. We're gonna transfer a little bit more tongue weight to the truck because it's on the front one. We're moving that, the, the actual weight on the axles away from the truck. So again, putting a little bit more, but it takes weight off of our back axles. We're not putting as much stress on these. But we can get into a scenario where we turn it around. This won't actually lift up off the ground physically, but it will just skate. It takes that weight off. Again, shifts it to those back two axles. We can crank this trailer around, back it into places, just turn around in general, um, more like a tandem. So again, that's been always the knock on a triple axle. So how does it done? So we put that dump on that front axle. We put this indicator light right here on the bottom rail on driver's side. So when you're sitting in the driver's seat and look in your mirror, you can see this light right here. <clears throat> you're gonna get a little key fob like this. You hit the on button and this guy here starts actually pulsating. This is a newer feature that we're doing. It used to just light up. And what we wanted is we wanted something to just catch people's eyes. So now it actually pulsates itself. But what it'll do is now we're pulling air from that front axle. We're moving the weight to those back two axles. You crank, you can turn this trailer around how you need to. When you're done, you hit the off button. It'll turn this off. The compressor will kick back on because now it's putting the weight back as far as air into that front bag and then transferring that weight between those three axles compared to those last two. Again, this is a feature that we do here at, at TransWest exclusively. It is a great option to put on these trailers. And again, it makes it to where you can actually use these and turn them around like a tandem, but it'll still pull like that triple with that, with that air ride. Again, a phenomenal actual just towing and the ride for your horses itself uh, with this feature. So what a cool trailer. Again, just a brief recap. It's a 2023 Cimarron North Star four horse living quarters. 1510 outlaw with the slide out, side load, triple axle air ride, full width rear tack, hay pod, a lot on this, like we just showed you. Unfortunately, this trailer is sold, but we've got more on order similar to it. We can order you something as well. I'm gonna give you the stock number for a reference, 5N220738. We do take trade-ins. If you're looking to upgrade, maybe downsize, we can help you out either way there. We have financing available and delivery is an option as well. We can get this trailer to your doorstep. So give us a call. Anybody on our sales team can help you out. Our number is 303-684-3400. We appreciate you tuning in and have a good day.